National Tengong University has released a large-scale study on Taiwan's dietary habits. It found that Taiwan is overly exposed to three known cardiogenous found commonly in food. These three toxins are prevalent in chips, cookies, and other foods made with palm oil, which could even include baby formula. Palm oil is commonly found in snacks like potato chips and cookies. During the high-temperature refining process for vegetable oils, carcinogens like glycidyl esters can form. If palm oil is added, the food will have a greater concentration of glycidol and 3-MCPD. In recent years, there's been strong attention on three carcinogens found in food, glycidyl esters, 2-MCPD, and 3-MCPD. National Chenggong University has found that the average person in Taiwan consumes more of these three toxins than permitted by EU standards. The biggest contributor to toxin intake is cooking oil, followed by confectionery and composite products in that order. Among all the cooking oils, palm Palm oil contains the most carcinogens. The central government actually has no regulations on the chemical compounds in palm oil. When it comes to palm oil and processed foods that contain it, we should consume in moderation. Because of its low price, palm oil is widely used in snacks. It can even be found in commercial milk powders. According to National Chenggong University, young children in Taiwan aged 0 to 3 have higher levels of the three toxins than any other age group. For parents, it's a worrying find. How much of it will affect his health? Will the effects last a lifetime? How long will they last? This is really concerning to me. Actually, you have to look at the duration of the consumption pattern. Milk powder is only consumed for a short period of time. Overall, we did see a higher risk of cancer. That has to do with national eating habits. The research shines a spotlight on hazards in food. National Chenggong University hopes its findings will remind shoppers to choose wisely, going for a balanced diet that lowers the risks of cancer and heart disease.